The minor characters in the novel often represent uh, certain types of foible. Uh, Lucy Steele, classic example of the social climber. Uh, Fanny Dashwood, a uh, classic example of greed, um, acquisitiveness, um, avarice really. Um, Mrs. Ferrers um, is really consumed with a sense of personal power. She's extremely autocratic, very arrogant, not to say insolent. Um, John Dashwood is simply a snob. Um, and also quite sycophantic, um, a social climber in his own way, although he's already quite high up the tree, it's very important to him to make connections uh, which will um, be useful to him all the time. <laughs> he's a user. Um, Nancy Steele really is an example of being quite vulgar and also rather silly within the whole concept of courtship. It's sad that Nancy hasn't found anyone, of course, because her life is not going to be very happy as a single woman uh, with the sort of financial status that she has. Um, but the, the, the silliness with which, with which she approaches courtship is the main reason, well, probably why, she hasn't managed to get married. But with the minor characters, how we, how we feel about them at the start of the novel is pretty much how we as the reader feel about them at the end of the novel. There's very little development um, in who they are. We're not particularly involved with any of the characters whom I've just mentioned <laughs> emotionally, apart from <laughs> the negative emotions. But um, interestingly, the author, in terms of the plot, doesn't particularly make judgments on these people. Lucy, after all, uh, marries Robert Ferrers, who becomes the main heir to considerable property. Uh, Robert Ferrers himself, who personifies vanity, um, doesn't come off badly in terms of the, the plot. The author doesn't um, instigate a moral judgment on him through the operation of the plot. Uh, Mrs. Ferrers is still sitting pretty on all her money at the end of the story and Fanny Dashwood is still happily um, the mistress, um, not that Fanny's ever particularly happy, but happily the mistress of uh, Norland. Um, John Dashwood has certainly come to no harm. So in this way I think whilst we might say that these char characters veer a little bit towards caricature, um, nonetheless, it is realistic just to, to depict people of this ilk being really quite successful in the world um, and not suffering at all from their um, insincere um, and rather doubtful value systems. It's a social comedy, it's, it's a comedy of manners. It's a comedy of manners. Um, and it, it really is true to that um, from start to finish in, in terms of how the characters are depicted.